Hey everybody, welcome back to Monstrum 1.0 full release. So in the last video, which was our bonus episode for the full release of the game, we got to play around a little bit with the Fiend, and we were almost able to get the helicopter in it. But unfortunately, the Fiend destroyed the helicopter controls, or it did something to the helicopter and made it so that we could not escape. So on today's episode, we're going to attempt to escape again, regardless of what monster we get. I'm going to try to keep this episode to about... 30 minutes to 25 to 30 minutes just because as of late I've been having a lot of real big issues with getting the right spawns as far as items. Uh, the last two episodes uh, I've tried to record for this week have been I would get all the items but one for each individual escape and then just never find the other ones and that's after like an hour of thoroughly exploring the entire ship. So we're going to keep it to around 30 minutes. I'm going to try to do as much exploration and secret solving as I can. But just for the sake of YouTube, I'm going to keep it to around 30 minutes. So let's go ahead and load up the game and see what we get. So also, as far as the Fiend goes, um, I did learn a couple of new things about the Fiend. And that it does use telepathy to attack you. So the weird purple veins that we had was it actually trying to take us over and slow us down to kill us. Um, the purple aura it had around a door, is it actually making it impossible for you to get through a door um, that is already closed? So, go ahead and set up my timer. Cool. And we're gone. So yeah, it, it has a, very, a lot of interesting abilities, and how it kills you as well is through psychic powers. So, hold on, let me check something. Okay, good. We're good to go. Had to make sure that everything was kosher on the audio side. So, yeah, it, like, uh, one of its brutal attacks is it'll actually just twist your neck around psychically. Another one is what we experienced firsthand is it just made my heart explode in my chest. It's very gruesome. Um, from what the wiki says, is as opposed to Big Red and Slim Jim, where they are more animalistic in their approach. They hunt you like an animal. Um, so, uh, the Fiend is more sadistic and intelligent, so it also has a different, uh, a different AI pattern that is more likely to hunt you like a, like a uh, intelligent being would as opposed, to an, as opposed to an animal, which is pretty cool. I still am on the... Uh, on the side of, I would have preferred it to be an actual ghost, but I can't always get what I want. And speaking of ghosts and all things creepy, if you want me to feature any particular game on the channel, please do let me know, because I do do weekly indie one-shots and I do throw in a horror game every so often, but if you want me to actually play a full horror title, um, let me know, and I will look into it and see how... Uh, what game it is and how much it would actually take to do a full let's play and I can span that over a couple days for, of a particular week and that'll give me something to record extra because currently I do have Monday Monstrum and Weekly Indie One Shot Wednesday which oddly enough I did not play in those particular day and day uh, day and show combinations that's just kind of how it turned out it allowed me to put out multiple episodes during the week and still have time for work and other social activities so nothing in here really oh ball cutters oh thank god i found that oh it's big red it's bad it's big red oh i don't like that i don't, I don't like fighting big red it just had to be big red let's see so for big red all we have left for him is the submarine ending so we will focus on sub item on submarine items as much as we can like i said i'm keeping this to 30 20 to 30 minutes if i can because if i if i record an episode and just keep going and going and going i find that anything over 40 minutes usually doesn't get much viewership anyway just because it's mostly just me commentating about my complete and total disgust with the item spawns so makes it a better experience for you and I
What's in here? That's the chain. I don't need the chain. Uh, I, do. I have the fuse, but that's all I have right now. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. I don't remember. Did I? Yeah, I did. I got the helicopter ending for Big Red. Because that was actually one of my... That was actually one of my closer uh, escapes. I was not expecting to survive that one. But yeah, the Fiend overall is an amazing monster to come up against. It actually... It's actually fairly terrifying to actually have to fight that thing. Because since it floats, it does not give its position away through movement. And all you hear is this, this odd humming noise. Because it is psychically trying to assault your brain. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Please, please, please. Come on, and going up, going up, going up. Now, for the sake of the episode as well, I'm going to focus on the subending for this one, but if I cannot seem to find the items I need, I am just going to get the next ending of easiest survival and uh, go for it. That way at least we have an ending, as opposed to me just stopping the episode. It's very anticlimactic. As you may notice as well, I the webcam doesn't look as bright, and that is because I was trying to record with XSplit, and for some reason XSplit had a conniption fit and would not work all of a sudden. So I was just like, you know what, I would rather just deal with OBS and be done with it than have to play around with uh, this crap. Boom. Take that, toilet. Yeah, I don't want to be here. He's going to show up soon. I need the duct tape so I can disable stuff. Hey, speak of the devil. Now, do keep in mind that I can only use the fire extinguisher so many times before it completely runs out of uses. Uh, ooh, a fuse. Give me that. I'll take that. So I need to find the battery, the headlamp, and the arc welder. The arc welder I've been having issues finding as of late. And that was actually one of the items that, I've... that I have not been able to find the last couple of times I've played. <clears throat> Where did I go, Cheery? Where did I go, Chipper Man? Okay. Oh, oh, here we go. I didn't expect him to just walk off. I was actually waiting for him to rip the door off. He's coming back, though. So I don't know. I don't know how this is going to play out. I don't know. Wow, he seriously just beat feet and left. Now, another thing I would like to the developers to do is, um, like those areas of the floor that you can fall through and you have to press A to get up. I kind of wish they had an indi uh, a graphical indication of that uh, on the floor below it as indicating that you fell through the floor. Because I thought that would be pretty cool. Oh, 
Oh, shit. Sure. Oh, keys for the helicopter. I don't know where those are now. Lighter. Which I am still of the opinion that the whole gasoline lighter combination of monster scaring is not worth it. There's too much setup time. Oh shit. His animations are much better. They're much more clean. <gasps> He's charging. Ah uh, ha ha. Woo. He was using that brute charge. That is an basically an instantaneous kill because. I don't think you can even stun him with anything when he's charging like that. Oh, I don't like that. He's above. Or he's right there. Mm-mm. Not sticking around for this nonsense. Alright, going down. 90% of the items should be below deck anyway. Alright, moving on. Nothing there. That's the crates. It is really hot in this room right now, too. It's kind of ridiculous. Hmm. I don't... I'm not sure, sure about this new uh, lower deck layout. This is very confusing. I hate walking in straight lines when he's around. Okay, so we're down here. Every time I've been down here, I haven't found anything. And I mean every time I've been down here. Radio. New objective. Sorry, what? Phone box. <laughs> mm. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I think if I lose line of sight of him too, it actually makes it so he can't uh, chase me as efficiently. Like he has to have direct line of sight to use his brute charge.
So if I duck, if I duck, uh, dodge, dive, and weave, you can't get a beat on me. And zero in. All right. He is going to make this extremely difficult to do anything. I need those items, too. The problem is, is they seem to be relatively scarce. No, I, I, I do not want to go back in the engine room. Screw that. I have never heard that just pop up before. He's usually in the area when he does that. Like, in your face. So that is a new sound asset that I've never heard. Okay, enough of that. Dodge, duck, dive, and weave. Seems to be another situation where items just, I don't know, they, they're not spawning uh, quite where I need them to be in relation to how the monster is aggressively pursuing me. Going down. There used to be rooms down here adjacent to the uh, the submarine room, but they have a chance to not actually be here. So let's go ahead and use that and open this power room, because we have fuses, and why not? And that's the chain. I don't need the chain, but I know where it, I know where it is now. Open this area, and nothing. That sucks. I don't know what was changed about item spawn, but they seem very inconsistent. Like on our Fiend the video, we literally got multiples, almost triplets of all the items required to get off with the helicopter. And we didn't find much else. Which was great, because it almost allowed us to get a free ending, but... This is just obnoxious. This, we're not finding anything we need. Oh, dear. I hear him. I don't see him, but I hear him. And that's never good. Alright. Hopefully we find something soon. Fortunately, I did give myself a time limit. I think we're actually back where we spawned initially. We are. I remember that radio. Okay. So there, there has to be something. There has to be something. No 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 Duck, dodge, dive, and weave. Duck, dodge, dive, and weave. At least that slows him down enough. Holy crap.
Mm-mm. Just a mm-mm. That was terrifying. I honestly thought he had me that time. Look at that ocean. Nope. You're gonna shut up. I don't think I can make it there without it going off, so. And that is what? Those are keys. I don't need the keys. It seems more and more like it wants me to go for, for a particular ending. Not really giving me much in the way of a choice, is it? If that's the case, that seems like a very distinct uh, issue in design, if it only spawns enough for one particular exit. That is... not that. That is the pump? Yeah, it looks like the pump. I mean, we've seen the chain spawn, so... I kind of wish I would have gotten the fiend for the monster, because then my options would have just been wide open. Um, yeah, let me go get the keys, I guess. Let's see, they were over here? I don't remember where I saw them now. <laughs> That's awesome. They might have been a floor down. He's right there. He is just all over my ideas right now. Uh, there's the pump. And he melted my face. Ugh. And with that, I am... F <laughs> Char Charlie's Devils. That's adorable. I just got a Steam achievement for that. Alright, so with that, I think I'll actually call the episode. So, I'm, unfortunately, we weren't able to get an escape this time. But then again, we're, we are down to literally the last thing we can do for Big Red. So, I will make a concerted effort to get it next time we get him spawn. So this has been Monstrum 1.0 full release. If you want to see more like this, make sure to like and comment in the comment section below. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye Thanks for watching all the way to the end. If you like this content, please make sure to like this video and maybe even share it with your friends. If you want to see more of this, make sure to subscribe or follow me on social media since YouTube sub boxes tend to lag behind. And as always, I will see you in the next video.